Welcome back everyone to Liz Infinium. If you like my content, leave a like and share it around. If you want to see more of my RPG, RTS, or 40k lore videos, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and check out one of my playlists. That being said, let's get into the video. At the beginning of part 7, we were introduced to a group of Remembrancers and an Iterator who have been given permission to go to the embarkation deck to watch as the Luna Wolves prepare to return to 6319. Among this group is Euphrates Kila. She is... The group has been told that they are not allowed to take any pictures, any paintings, anything like that without permission. So she just starts taking pictures of the Stormbirds and the Astartes uh, preparing for battle. And as she goes to take the last picture in sequence, she bends down to take it and the iterator comes up to her like, you can't do that. Look, I know you're in favor, but you just can't do that. <clears throat> And he goes on to say, like, the Remembrancers right now are in trouble. It took a lot to keep y'all here because of a Remembrancer who went down to the surface and caused some trouble. After this exchange, we see 300 Luna Wolves of the 10th Company come onto the embarkation deck, followed by another Luna Wolf that the group notices is a captain but can't tell who and the iterator points out that it is Garviel Loken the captain of 10th company and Euphrates Kila after the exchange because of course she does goes to take more pictures of Loken specifically and thinks about how she doesn't have to uh, playing a picture out with him, he always dominates the pictures, which is a good quality when you want to take a picture of someone. And it's just really fascinating to see that even though he's not the Primarch, he does have a level of passive charisma towards humans, at least, if not towards other Astartes as well. So normally when a and Astartes takes an oath a moment there's either one or two other Astartes that witness the oath and in this case he had two other company captains uh, set up to do his oath but when he turned around there were five captains coming towards him the two original Astartes plus the Mornaval the remaining members of the Mornaval and um the Astartes to take the SS we're here to hear you take your oath and Torgadden says and we're here to keep you cheerful it's just it's, it's something small but it's funny at the same time because like I keep bitching about at least with what I've seen so far in current 40k lore and other uh, not video games and stuff like that you really don't see this not only individual attitude but it, the differences between a star days from the same group now you could claim that you know there are differences between say the black templar and the imperial fists true very true. They're both descendants of the Imperial Fist, and okay, you might have a bit of an argument there, but you don't really see this kind of camaraderie anymore. And I think I know what it might have a little bit to do with. And this is actually from a video I saw two or three days ago. It was a video Arch Warhammer did on the Codex Astartes and it it showed that how it changed the mindset of Astartes overall over time and I thought that that was fascinating because I never made that connection 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was yesterday. He released it yesterday. And I I couldn't make that connection. I didn't really think, you know, I, I knew it split up the legions into chapters and everything, but I never n knew how much it effectively uh, changed the mentality of the Astartes as well. So I think that might have a lot to do with it. But I do find it kind of funny and a little sad at the same time. Not sad as in pathetic, but sad as in like kind of a downer because there's so much potential there. Um, for instance, in the uh, Space Marine video game, you kind of see it with Captain Titus. He's a good example of what I'm talking about. He's like, yes, this is just guideline. I mean, he doesn't really joke around or anything. He's not really uh, upbeat. But he is, uh, he, he reminds me of what an ultramarine from 30k would be, whereas, oh, what is his name? The, uh, the little peon that follows you around. I don't know, I just know that Arch Warhammer calls him shit bucket. <laughs> but, uh, but he is the, he is what I would call the classic 40k space marine. And I think it really sucks because even in those two, with that example, you can see the difference between them. Another exchange we see after Garviel Loken takes his oath a moment is Abaddon says, uh, basically, do a good job. And <laughs> Loken's like, oh, I, I will. You know, I, I was planning on making a mess of everything. Where <laughs> Tarek Torcat and, and Lil Horace Axman just start laughing like, Well, he's finally growing that thick skin, Ezekiel said he would. <laughs> and Ezekiel's response is, Yes, yes he is. But seriously, don't screw up down there. He's like, I won't. It's just, it's a really cool exchange because it goes back to what I just said a minute ago. You get to see all this personality. And even though it's more of joking around with each other stuff like that it, it's just it's a little bit beautiful actually and the way it's written is really nice and I am not doing it justice but I mean quite frankly I just I want to give you a summary of what's going on not just a uh, not, I'm not just parroting the book I, I hope the people that watch this will go out and get the books they're really good and they're absolutely worth every second of it and when we flash back to the remembrancers we're told that Euphrates Kila actually got a good pick of Cetere and Targost taking Loken's Oath of Moment with him being surrounded by them plus Axamand, Abaddon and Torgadon and this will come up a little bit later but this is probably one of Euphrates Kila's best moments before the end of the second book. It's definitely one of her best moments in the first book. It shows that her creativeness and her her eye for attention to detail, and it's really cool to see. And this comes from me not being an artistic person that it's what's the word I'm looking for here it, it, I understand that I probably can't appreciate art as much as people who actually know about it but the way it's written is uh, Dan Abnett did a wonderful job writing this book because even for someone like me who's n not very artistic can understand how important it was and just the kind of quality it is at the same time. Kirill Sinderman comes up to talk to Euphrates Kila and asks to see the pictures that she got and actually says that that last picture she got with Garviel Logan taking his oath of moment surrounded by the Mornival will make her famous. And then he asks for her to follow him. 
and takes her to the equerry because that's an easy word to say for me <laughs> of Horus Malakurst to tell her that for a select group of Remembrancers that they're going to let them go down behind the 10th company to basically um, to be able to take pictures as stuff is happening and basically give that a trial run but they word it a little bit differently it's basically uh, to see if the concept of remembrancers actually remembering events as they happen is a good thing or getting the story afterwards is a good thing the last scene of the book we get to see Garvio Loken going down to 6319 in his Stormbird. He goes up to the front of the Stormbird because they're having issues with their Voxes or radios. And they, they can tell him that's atmospheric but not where it's coming from. And the message is I am Samus. Samus is the man beside you. Samus is all around you. And that's where this part leaves off. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That being said, in the top left hand corner, I will leave you uh, my most recent upload. In the bottom left hand corner, I will leave you a playlist that I hope you enjoy. In the top right hand corner, I'll leave you Samus. I mean, the subscription button that way if you liked this lore video or and you want to see more of them or you want to see more of my RPG RTS playthroughs or again my 40k lore videos just click on that check out one of my playlists or any of my videos leave a like share it around and share some love that being said I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one bye